Section four, number nine, you're gonna find the value of x and y. So we know that the inside here is an equilateral triangle, so you should be aware that all angles here are gonna be 60, 60, and 60. So angle x is also gonna be equal to 60 degrees, okay? Notice that this angle, all right, it is 60 degrees, and this tells you that it is 60. So this is gonna tell you that this is also gonna be 60 by default, okay? So y is gonna be equal to 60 degrees as well because the side gives you a relationship to its opposite angle, all right? Let's take a look at B here. Notice that this side of one red mark is related to this, then this is also related to this. So that means since this is X, this is also gonna be X. This is considered a acute isosceles triangle. So we can actually set this up to solve for X here. Okay, so it's x plus x plus 75 is going to be equal to 180. The x plus the x gets you 2x plus 75 equals to 180. Subtract 75 from both sides. Okay, 180 subtract 75. That gets you 105. So 2x is equal to 105. Divide by 2 to both sides. You get x is equal to... 52.5 now we want we know that this is 52.5 so this is also 52.5 leaving you that this is this side is also 52.5 okay oh then this is by default the last one that is what we were trying to solve for y so y is also equal to 75 okay because 75 plus 52.5 plus 52.5 gets you that, okay? And then C, all right, we can use linear pair because this forms at 90 degrees. So 180 minus 140 gets you 40 degrees here. If this is 40, this is also 40 because notice of the red marks that gives you this relationship. This allows us to set up the equation 40 plus 40 plus X is equal to 180. 40 plus 40 is 80. Bring down the plus x equals to 180. Subtract 80 from both sides. This cancels, leaving you with x is equal to 100 degrees. So x here is 100 degrees. If this is 100 degrees, this is also 100 degrees. Okay. Notice that these show that it is the same. So this is 40, this is 40 as well. Okay. Because the red marks show that they are congruent. If this is 40 by vertical angles, this is that 140 here. So we can say angle Y is equal to 140 degrees. So there you go. You need to use your properties of isosceles and equilateral triangles to solve for your X's and Y's here.